What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Prune's having a fantastic day and today we're gonna go visit Michael. It's a little bit later in the evening. Um, I gotta open in the morning so I can't be out terribly late. But we're gonna go check him, we're gonna go check in with him and go see what he's been up to because this morning he was at a dealership picking up his new scat pack. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take the Equinox today. Um, if you guys watched my last video, you guys know that uh, I'm kind of trying to retire the truck as best as I can. And over the next few months, I'm going to be driving it a little bit less and less until I get my new daily at the end of the year, hopefully. Uh, keyword, hopefully. So I'm going to go experiment with the Equinox today. As an experiment, I've driven this car quite a lot. So uh, if there's any car in this house I know better than my own vehicle, it's this one because I drove this for so long when the truck was toast. Well, that American 2.4 liter. Yeah. All right. Let's head over to Michael's and have a good day. So Michael, how does it feel? Hard. Oh. So this is the new, the new edition. Michael the said new goodbye. The charger escaped the pick away the building. Michael said goodbye to the Ram today. Dude, yeah, that was a little sad. <laughs> Just, <laughs> was it not like how it was when you got rid of the Taurus? No. It was not bad. <laughs> it wasn't entirely heartbreaking. It was not that bad. Or the wh how was it as bad as like you didn't? I don't know. Were you upset when you got rid of the red one? No, actually, which is very surprising because I knew this was happening. Oh, that's why. If, if I did a YouTube video, you would have heard me say a thousand times, I'm only getting rid of this one, getting this truck because it's a good deal, just to get a wide body. Exactly. And, and thanks, so, to, thanks to Dodge's EV day, this is here now instead of probably two years from now. <laughs> true. So, oh, walk us the through the spec. Lies, dude. It's crazy. Walk us through the spec right. for the channel. Let me uh, put this up and then I'll come back out. You might have to cut. Oh yeah? Go ahead and cut. Okay. You wanna pull it up out of the grass and stuff? You can just go in the cold sack. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you get that warm start? Sure. <laughs> I think he set his neighbor's alarm off. It's loud for stock. Yeah, you it got the sun so this time. Good to me. I don't know why. All right, so this is my built window. especially for Michael Astane. Yes, sir. I forgot. Yeah, Michael actually had this car. He specced this car out himself. So everything on here was your choice. Yes, sir. It wasn't a dealer special. No, sir. And my phone was going off. I did not pay extra for anything I did not want. It's a motorcycle. All right. So what do you want to go over first? Everything for your video. Everything. All right. So this is obviously a 2021 wide body charger skitty pack. Yes, sir. It is uh, pretty much fully loaded except for one option, and we'll get to those. Uh, color is cinnamon stick. So obviously it's the wide body package, which is a lot. Worth it though. I mean, look at that. Oh, it looks amazing. Um, so it's got the sunroof. Um, it's got the plus roof, which is a lot of stuff. The Scat Pack logo with the uh, fancy seats. Mm -hmm. um, ventilated front. Uh, it don't matter. Is it better than the Rams? Have you tried it out yet? Is what? It than, like the ventilated seats? No, I actually haven't even tried it yet. Because the Rams. Dude, we I literally just left the dealership. It's oh, crazy. So y'all just got back not too long ago. Yeah. Um, it's got uh, power, obviously, driver's seats. Overhead lighting is LED instead of having to change all that it's all led yeah. i remember you had to do that with the old one with the 18. Uh, it's got the technology group which is the advanced brake assist so if you try to rear in somebody it won't let you it'll be like no it's got lane keep so mm -hmm. all 
that's good. It, it's got, is that a front guy to cruise? Yeah, that's the uh, adaptive cruise control camera. It's got the six piston Brembo's. Oh, you went the big boy brakes. Uh, it comes with it with wide body. Okay. Um, and also, I did notice the brakes are dramatically different. Another part of the wide body is the flat bottom steering wheel. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like the round one that was in your old one. <laughs> oh, that new car steering wheel. Huh? I like that. And the brake pedals, which I still need to fix completely. It's not 100% on there. And you went with the Alcantara seats this time. Yep. Because you had just normal cloth in the old one. Yep. So my, my other there. one was just base model, dude. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. Okay. The oldie, the oldie was a base boy. It's got the uh, courtesy exterior lighting, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, uh, I saw it. If it were darker, it would be projected on the ground. Uh, you had these big boy wheels. Jeez. Eleven inches wide. Good gosh. What's the tire on this? Three hundred five. Really? <laughs> well, I guess we know you aren't spending any time soon. You want to bet? Yeah, I'm not doing it anyway. <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> Driver convenience, it comes with the uh, bi-function HIDs, mm -hmm. which are very nice. The Harman Kardon 19 speaker system. Didn't, didn't your Ram have that too? Nope. What did your Ram have? Just the Alpine. Alpine? Six speaker. Nine speaker. Oh, so you, sub. This is a lot more speakers. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. Lane departure, automatic high beams. Um, the moonroof. The, the sunroof. Um, and the... Uh, Automatic windshields too. Windshield wipers. Third. So, so pretty much it. the polar opposite of your red one. Your red one was really just kind of like just an engine. Yeah. You got you got <laughs> the interior, and that's really yeah. you, you got the they got the power plant. You got the looks. This though is Michael's dream spec car, pretty yeah. much. What was the one you were the option you talking about? You did not get. Oh, the carbon fiber interior. It was like twelve hundred dollars. Not worth and it to you. It would have been had I not got the sunroof because it would have canceled itself out. When you get the sunroof, the actual thing that you slide manually, yeah, it's still cloth instead of suede. Weird. The whole headliner suede, deep black, and then you have like a grayish kind of cloth headliner. It's it just terrible. jarring. I, I'm glad I saw it because I, I told him I was like, no, I don't want that. So yeah, it's great. I'm not to gonna see worry it. about the MSRP because I didn't pay that. <laughs> <laughs> they hooked me up at Scott Evans. Yes, sir. So you can get a Scott. I Evans. thought you went to Cartersville. Oh. oh, I went there and looked at it, and that's where I first oh, saw this. Oh, yeah, you first saw this color. Yeah. But I'm definitely it's loud for I'm stock. framing this. Is this louder than the old one? Should be. Oh, I guess it just makes scats are just always kind of, I guess, louder than 5.7s are. I think it, my mom started. <laughs> oh, God. <Apparently> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of unfair it's in a garage. You want that for <laughs> your video? Maybe you can drive her. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you want to go for a trip, I assume? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, though, we do ha we did locks. have a. Do they have oil locks in nitro? Yeah, uh, we did have a bit of a casualty yesterday. Poor Michael had a bad day yesterday. Oh no! Why'd you remind me? <laughs> Poor Old Michael. Baby. He got whacked yesterday. She took it deep, man. I didn't realize like how like it looked actually better in pictures. Yeah, like, like this whole piece is hanging off. The license plate was hanging off. I had to put new screws in it today. Yeah. This piece, I didn't even know this piece was separate. Yeah, I thought it was all one piece molded. But this is one piece, and it's like dented right here, and yeah. then there's a crack up in there. So if they don't replace it, they're, they're going to be hearing from somebody. And then Whoa. the hatch is also dented right there where that deep scuff is. Yeah. I guess that's where this made contact. Yeah. Right there and dented it. So I'm getting a is new that, and a new bumper. Is that your paint or is it his paint? Because I know the that's car that paint. hit you was red. That's my paint. It peeled the wrap off. Dang Camaros, dude. dude I, I guarantee you, I peel that wrap off, dude. It'd come off, and it'd be almost clean underneath it and the if advantage it's not is spider web yeah the advantage is too since you said you're gonna have to rewrap the entire car because of that little burn mark might be gone be re and i don't think that's gonna come back because my tip is out yeah further. exactly i know you that's always been a sore spot for you i know you hated that that chunk's been oh i'm also probably gonna go black anyway so you go, oh you're going full black on the car yeah i'm gonna go this right here have you have you seen a spoiler yeah I in I person have. i think i have oh with the flake i remember i think i remember you showing this some point uh it's what's on the uh front grill right, oh yeah. let's go for a little trip then yes sir in my fishbowl of a car <laughs> <laughs> i thought that's what you were taking <laughs> oh no i am i'm fitting that truck tomorrow i'm too tired today well, make sure my shoes are nice and clean that new car smell nothing is better i think this is like the third time i smelled it with you <laughs> <laughs> shut up Hey, I'll, I'll, I might be there too one day. Yes, sir. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do anything that new. 
much as I'd like to. I can get myself buckled up. <clears throat> I like the new 392 badge on the uh, dash. It's kind of nice. Yeah. New touch. Why does it feel different riding this one than riding the red one? Because it's got the adaptive suspension. That's the other thing that comes with the adaptive suspension. Yeah. You can make it super stiff. And you feel like every bump. True. Now it's like riding the truck. Yeah. But I haven't, I haven't driven it in track mode. I'm trying to wait for a little while. Yeah. I'm trying to give it some break ins. You'll. What is the break in on this now? Is it 500 or 1,000? Probably 500. But probably 500. Probably go a little long. Probably try to go to like 850 or something. Be a little easy on. That sunroof though. You know so, how long it's been since I've ridden in the car with a sunroof? Oh, dude, it's so nice. Does it feel bigger than a the old one? A little bit. I know whenever the. Do you need me to roll the windows up? I know uh, whenever you go over like a bump with like tire, yeah. it hates that. It'll pull you off the road. And out here, there's plenty of bumps. Yeah. <laughs> Where me and Michael and Hayden all live, which just, the roads are rough. For lack of better terms, it is rough out here. <laughs> you go towards my job, the roads get even worse. You know what I'm talking about. How can about. they get any worse than that? Than this. You know, you like know. this right here, this bump just got off. Oh, yeah. You can't really feel it in this, but God, in the Mazda, the truck, dude. <laughs> Dude, there's a bump on my way to work that makes my truck rattle. Like the entire <laughs> truck shakes. Oh no. It is the most painful thing I've ever experienced. There's no farts anymore. Yeah, that's the other thing. The transmission's tuned for the bigger tires, so it don't need to fart. Yeah. It will fart though, but not not nearly as and it's also an eco. Oh yeah. You're saying you're getting a good a good 17 MPG. <laughs> that's about what I get though, to be honest. Well it it'll go up. It's just that's what it's been. Yeah. We're getting like 22 right now. So you're getting better gas mileage than my dog on six cylinder. <laughs> Fun fact, now you'll know. 392s better on, oh my god. Yeah, me too. 392s are better on gas mileage than the four liter V6. And you got more down here, like all these new buttons and stuff that I didn't, I don't yeah, remember the, seeing in yours. the lane keep thing. Oh, I'll yeah. have to show you that. That's, that's Is it trippy? Is it like you try, you try to swerve and it yanks you back? Yeah, I remember, uh, It's not aggressive, but I have it on the medium setting. I remember the Camry that uh, Hayden had briefly, his dad had briefly that he had drove had it, and it was trippy. Believe it or not, that car actually had a lot of paddle response. The Camry was actually kind of impressive. Dude, it's not hard to make a good car. They just pass an emission, so they can't do it again. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this back on. Does it work in a single lane road? Yep. Sure. Uh, no skirt. Not yet, at least. It does feel a lot like riding in your mom's. <laughs> look at that grid, you're happy. <laughs> it's got, uh, the lane keeps active now, so watch this. I'm gonna try and go towards the middle. Look at it, look at it. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't oh. do it. I just, I just got my hands on it, that's it. And it just kind of pushed you back over. Yeah. Honestly though, I like how this sound stopped. Yeah, I just I, really I think mid mid, mid muffler is the move. Like that's that's the move. Yeah. But this does not sound bad at all. I'd almost be hard pressed to get rid of it. <laughs> I really I don't I don't but I do at the same time. Mid muffler is always the move though. You had it on your old one and this on gnarly. You gotta bring that back. Yeah, I need the parts and pops, dude. Oh. Are you gonna get it tuned up again to have all that back? It doesn't stop. That tune didn't do anything, dude. I guarantee you. It felt like it did. So is this going to be the one that gets the dream build? That gets the twins? That gets the big setup? At some point, probably not anytime soon. Yeah. Because Michael had originally planned to put twins on the 18 when he had that. 
That would have been scary. I think this thing would be a perfect setup for twins, too. Yeah, with the big tires in the back. Oh, a little wider hook. stance. It'd probably <laughs> hook a lot better. That thing would hook up, dude. It'd be hooking up like freaking... Never like a demon? <laughs> you know demons, they always hook. Oh. <laughs> you gotta yaw it a little bit. I feel like this, like, I've, I, you know, I've ridden in both. I've ridden in this and your mom's wide body Challenger. The Challenger does yaw more. <laughs> I think, like, I forget if it was you or Hayden that said it, that Hayden. the Challenger yaws more, yaws back more. Hayden, but he didn't drive the adaptive suspension. I think, I think with the adaptive suspension, it drives it Cleans it up. Like, like, that's stiff. Holy cow. Yeah, and that's not even track mode. Oh, no, now we're in track mode. Oh, it's popping, dude. <laughs> Little burbles. See? Yeah, that is stiff. Oh, it's Little burbles. Away, dude. Is that the No, that's not an ST. Dude, did you want that? Sure. Heard a little skirt. Tried it. They wanted to. Oh, dude, it's a different beast in track mode. Uh -huh. <laughs> Try not to get tempted. <laughs> I don't want to just stomp on it, dude. <laughs> Does not tempt you with a good time. Man, I thought you. I was about. To <laughs> pull, I was about to be like, pull over for that truck, you won't. I could. <laughs> you got all the horsepower. This sounds so rowdy. I like how this thing sounds. That truck does complicate things. <laughs> uh, not a mock. I thought that was. I thought that was straight up a Mach One. That is the probably the fakest Mach One I've ever one? seen. That was. That's a V6. I'll try to look like a Mach One. <laughs> is that a Murano Cross? No, that's not. <laughs> that's a Murano Cross Cabriolet. It's just Kia something. There's a G37. Oh, no, no, you want? You want me to I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, a little a little ride in the char and the charger. About the Challenger, Mark Seven GTI. Sure. <laughs> we are gonna head on back over and get some food and go back to Michael's, and we will continue this from there. So. Anything like that? Oh no! <laughs> Let me all stop. stop it, Ron. Stop. <laughs> we need to actually say that with him in the in our presence. That'd be hilarious. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Oh no. He'd probably not like that. No, he loves the video. Or he'd get off to it. Yeah. All right, guys. It's been a couple days. I'm a little bit stuffy. We've got some really bad ragweed allergies around here. Not been fun for me. But anyway, um, hope you all enjoyed the video of me just hanging out with Michael, going out and seeing his new car. Be sure to go subscribe to his YouTube channel for more on that car coming soon, as well as go follow him on TikTok. I'll try to remember to put it on screen for you guys. Um, I don't think I have a green screen overlay for TikTok just yet, so I'll just put it up on screen like normal. Um, and of course, this channel will be at the outro. You guys can go subscribe to it there. But for now, guys, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, more content coming soon on the channel. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.